Hi, welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's virtual classroom. Today we are going to see how to add decimals. So let's see the steps. First, we have to write down the decimal numbers one below another. And remember that we have to line up the decimal points exactly on top of each other. Next, we convert the decimals to like decimals. Then we arrange the add-ins so the digits of the same place are in the same column. Then we add the numbers from right to left as we would when we add normally. Then we place the decimal point straight down in the answer line. Let's see an example. Add 2.35, 4.2 and 3. So as you see, 3 is a whole number while 2.35 and 4.2 are decimal numbers. So the digits to the left of the decimal point. So this is the digit to the left. Such as the 1s, 10s and 100s should all line up with each other. The digits to the right of the decimal points. So here is the right of the decimal point such as the tens and hundreds should also be aligned. So let's write 2.35. So we write it like this. So we write 2. Next we put a decimal point. Next 3 and 5. Now for 4.2. So 4. Point two. Since 3 is a whole number, we write it in the 1's place. So as you see, we have to convert the decimals to like decimals. So to convert the decimals to like decimals, we add zeros. So the number of digits after the decimal point in 2.35 is 2. But in 4.2, we only have one digit after the decimal point. So, we add a zero. And same with three. This time, we add a decimal point. Next, two zeros. 3.00 and three is the same. And same with 4.2. 4.2 and 4.20 is also the same. So when we add the zeros, it doesn't change the value of the number. So let's add. So 5. 3 plus 2 is also 5. Next we write the decimal point straight down. Next 2 plus 4 plus 3 which gives us 9. So that means that 2.35 plus 4.2 plus 3 is 9.55. Let's see another example. Find the sum of 4.36 and 12.54. So remember that we have to align the decimal point exactly on top of each other. So as you see, I have aligned the decimal point exactly on top of each other. Now we have to add. So 6 plus 4 is 10, we write the 0 and carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. And write the decimal point as it is. 4 plus 2 is 6. And we write the 1. So 4.36 plus 12.54 is 16.90. So let's see another example. Find the sum of $3.45 and $6. Remember, when you are adding money, everything to the left of the decimal point represents whole dollars and everything to the right represents cents or parts of a dollar. So, let's add $3.45 with 6. So, to make 6 as a decimal number, we write a decimal point, then two zeros. So let's add. So 5, 4, then we write the decimal point. Next 3 plus 6 is 9. So that means that the answer is 
nine dollars and forty five cents. Thanks for watching.